In this video, we're going to use XVID for PSP to hard caption a video file on the PC. Now, what's nice about XVID for PSP is a couple things. One is it's open source. It's a fairly large download. It's 80 megs, but it has everything you're going to need. It'll install everything it needs uh, to be able to do conversion, and it relies on a lot of open source programs. And it was originally designed to take high quality DVDs and convert them down into much smaller file formats for portable devices. So um, there's lots and lots of options uh, and you might find yourself using this to do a lot of other things as well. But let me show you how to, um, to hard caption uh, a video file. So I'm going to open. So I want to show you two things here. First is if we show you all the different file types, look at that, it's crazy all files. I want to show you two things before we load. Um, I have, this is the file I'm going to be loading, which is the first time video set up YouTube, and it's an MPEG-4 format. And then also notice that there's a subtitle file, and this is an SRT file that has the exact same name. So it doesn't have to be, and I'll show you how to use different subtitle files, but um, it's going to do something very interesting. Because it's the exact same name, when I, when I open it, when I open the, the MPEG-4, which I'm doing right now, it will um, automatically pull in the subtitle file. Uh, I'm going to, in this video, show you how to, to select one if it doesn't automatically pull it in. But um, the key there is the way, the way that it's automatically able to pull it in is that the subtitle is named, subtitle file SRT is named exactly the same thing as the um, video file, and it's in the same directory. Uh, so it's a little bit of magic, but um, don't worry. Um, you're likely going to keep your transcripts in a separate directory anyway, and so I'll show you how to do that. So it's processing the video. It's just saying, hey, what kind of video am I? And uh, in a second here, it will pull up and load the video. So it says, what kind of audio does it have? What kind of video does it have? Uh, and then what do I want to do with it? So here is my um, video, and you can see it's already pulled in the subtitle file. And what's, what's great about this is I can go to a different frame and see the subtitle. So I can preview and make sure that my subtitles aren't co going off the screen. Now there aren't any options to change the subtitle size. If the subtitle file didn't get pulled in, go under subtitles and click add and it'll open up a window to and it'll ask you for your subtitle file. Now that it's opened up the window, I'm going to um, pick my subtitle file and that is the YouTube one right here and it'll click and it will re-render the subtitles so that I can preview them. So we're going to wait for that to happen. Okay, so there it's re-rendered. And I can go through and see how these are going to look. I can quality control it. Now the next step in the process is to choose your output settings. Uh, my input setting was MPEG-4. I'm going to leave my output setting MPEG-4 as well. Uh, might as well. It's a good high compression with good quality. And then you can see here when you drop down this menu, you can choose a lot of different presets. So I'm just going to stick with the stock MPEG-4 preset. I don't really want to add any filters, so I'm going to leave those disabled. I don't want to do any color correction because I'm not using this program for that. Before I get to the video, I want to um, talk about the audio. I've instructed it not to convert the audio. And it's just going to copy the audio from the original file into the video. And so that it doesn't mess with any of that. And that's what I want. The default uh, setting is this uh, P2 DVD 5, and that's a great one. I have also used um, this X264 Q21 uh, HQ film. And so um, that's the one that I'm going to choose. Once I've got my settings down to where I want them, then the next, time, the next step is to just encode the video and save it out. This program does batch process, so you can add this as a task if you want to do multiple ones and, and then and then do your uh, processing overnight, as an example. But in this particular case, I'm just going to hit encode, and we're going to go straight into encoding. So it's going to ask me where I want to add my file, and I'm going to hit save. And so this is the encoding process. It will take a while to encode. Um, in some of my other test runs, this three-minute video took uh, about 30 minutes to encode. Now, part of it is that I'm running uh, uh, it's not the fastest environment that I'm running this in. So this says one hour uh, now, 32 minutes. So uh, I'm going to pause the video and um, and show you what happens when it's done. And I'm going to load up the video. And uh, here's my video with my captions. 